I'm really not this out of breath all the time. I just am whenever I'm wearing a real bra. Nick, you have a box, a bag of bags. <laughs> now you have a bag of bags, not a box. Today, it's him. So we have tons and tons of beautiful wildflowers. This is the first time she's ever done a mural and she's killing it. Today is September 17th and it is my second baby shower um, for my mother-in-law's side of people. Seth went to go get ice because she asked us to bring ice and he's about to come back and pick me up. It's an early morning shower, so I got up. Actually, the babies woke me up at 6.30 this morning, and whew, I'm already out of breath. Um, <laughs> and I had to get ready. Um, but it's been a pretty good morning. And just a couple days ago, I was out, out of clothes. I didn't have any more clothes to wear for like a nicer occasion. So my mother-in-law took me after our Bible study um, to the mall and we found these three super cute uh, maxi dresses that technically aren't, they're technically not maternity, but I can get away with a lot because I'm only carrying really in my belly. So this is 29 weeks. And yeah, I feel like this is a medium. I felt so good getting a medium in this dress. I love this, the pockets and like just the style. It feels very pioneer woman type of style. I need to find some shoes. I don't really have any shoes for this outfit. But yeah, um, that's what we're doing. I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get because it is a bigger shower than my old one. Um, a ton of people are coming that I don't super know. <laughs> so I know I'm going to be in my, you know, social worker mode where I'm trying to make everybody feel like they're known. <sighs> so yeah, I, uh, I'm really not this out of breath all the time. I just am whenever I'm wearing a real bra. <laughs> so. We'll see how long this lasts. I might bring my uh, backup comfy bra in case I get super uncomfortable and uh, need to change. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're doing. This is exciting. I look cute. My other three outfits I have for photo shoots, for maternity photo shoots that we're going to try to find. And then tonight we're going to... Tonight we're going to my grandparents for my belated birthday because everybody had sickness in August and it is now September, everybody's feeling better and all the people out of town can finally come. So it's gonna be a busy day and I don't really know honestly when I'm gonna check in again. But I'm gonna have Seth grab the camera and try my best to document some of what's going on today because I know I'm gonna want to remember it. back and I unpacked a few things and then mom has been saying she's leaving for the past 10 minutes but she keeps coming back in here and putting more things in their place in the nursery. <laughs> you really can't help yourself. Yeah, I gotta fix it. <laughs> I gotta fix it. <laughs> All the things that go together go together. Right there. I feel better. So you're nesting. <laughs> It's all the things. Oh, I know. All the things still... have to have a home. Those things 
can stay, yeah. I know, just making them over there, all the things. Look, you have a box, a bag of bags. <laughs> now you have a bag of bags. Not a box of bags and a bag of bags, you just have a bag of bags. <laughs> you crack me well. up. Oh, and Sherry four. has started. She started the process of making her truffle a tree forest. There's another bag. The can go in the bag, but oh. But right now, this bag is going to go back. <laughs> and then I'll be done. And that's it. And then Look how many books they got. I know. It's awesome. It's a lot of books. Sheep in a Jeep. You will never have to buy another bag. <laughs> So these flowers were one of the ladies who helped organize, or who pretty much planned the baby shower. Her neighbor farms these, basically. <laughs> these wildflowers, and she sent me home with all of them. So we have tons and tons of beautiful wildflowers that I just, there's nothing like them. So yeah, we got those, and these, I can't believe they sent us with so many flowers. <laughs> and she said that um, she was struggling to even find wildflowers because it's late in the season. And so she talked to her neighbor and her neighbor said, well, pray for rain. And Wednesday night was when we had a total torrential downpour and the flowers just came right back up and it worked out so beautifully. I really need to lay down because it's been a really long Good morning. Enough. I woke up at 6.30, kind of like Christmas morning, like excited for the day, because I knew today was going to be precious. But now, I mean, it's been a long day, from 10 o'clock to like 1 o'clock. I think it's 2 o'clock now. It's 2.30, almost 3. It's 2.50. Oh, man. The day's just whizzed by, and we got to go to... My grandma's in Kansas. Yeah. yeah. So it's good that we have a little bit of time to, thank you. <laughs> a little bit of time to relax before. We got time to relax. But I can't believe how much we got. I cannot believe how much people got us. We, we got our second, um, Car seat. Yes, our second car seat from Seth's grandpa. And that was so exciting because now we're done with the double stuff. I think the two thing, or the three things that we knew were gonna be big purchases were two car seats, two cribs. And a double stroller. Oh, yeah. Well, I was gonna say two cribs and a bassinet that is like a twin bassinet. And a bassinet. But the bassinet we got covered from a friend who just had twins and so they just switched them out of bassinets and so they sold it to us for a reasonable price the cribs are being donated by another twin mama who's about to move her baby girls her, her two-year-olds into uh, toddler beds and so she said we can have the cribs and they're pink and it's awesome and then the only thing that we knew we were gonna have to just buy straight from the manufacturer were the car seats and the stroller, I guess. But I think your mom's planning on getting us the stroller. She just said that she was waiting until after the, after the, what's the word? Showers. Showers. This is how you know I'm tired. My favorite thing, I mean, it's just so great whenever family, I mean, church family and friends come together and they just know how to love well and I'm a words of affirmation girl, and uh, Seth's mom's best friend pretty much ran the whole show today. And so she is a words of affirmation girl, and she had so many kind words to say about Seth and me, and she's known, us since, you know, she's known Seth since he was a baby. Seth and her son are best friends, and um, she's known me since Seth and I started dating in high school. So she had a lot to say, and then she gave me 
time to share the testimony of where we got the names um, for Raylan and Remy and all that God has been doing in our life and how I'm feeling and all that stuff. And then she had a space for us to, she asked me what I need prayer for. I mean, it's like a, it's like a Bible study, <laughs> what I need prayer for. And I, I asked them to pray for a home birth because that's what we are believing for. That's what we're praying for. And the group of ladies just started praying and we all just sat there praying and being grateful for motherhood and, and the beautiful life that are in my womb. And I mean, it's just, it was just so, I don't know, intentional. It was intentional. And then I got to open all these presents. And so <laughs> it was like a Bible study slash baby shower. And anyone who's not a believer would probably be eye rolling at it, but it was just so refreshing because it's good to be amongst other women who believe in the Lord and are so great at just like boasting his name. My belly is pretty hard, which probably means I've overdone it today. Um, everyone was so kind when they were leaving. They're like, don't get up, don't get up. You can stay sitting. And I think for the most part, I have the energy to get up and do all these things. But after an hour and a half of opening presents and thanking people and talking to people that I don't even know very well. This is another thing. I don't know a lot of these, the, the women that came, they just are friends of my mom or you know, my mother-in-law and my mom and my, I mean, like they know my grandma because of BSF. And so they all came not even really knowing me, but knowing of our story and being so happy for us. And so it was just, huh. It's really cool to have a village, even though they don't know me personally very well. And I hope they got to know me a little bit more personally. And I hope I, I showed gratitude. Like, I hope I did my, my part in showing the overwhelming gratitude that I was feeling, but I was pretty overwhelmed with the amount of people that were there and the names and all the sweet Seth stories they kept telling me. Oh, great. Oh, it was so cute. They, they, two of them were nurses who worked with your dad the nurses, and they've been the working with him. had the, mo the most Yeah, they stories. talk about how he was just the sweetest boy and he would just sit in his dad's office and watch Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and he just was content and happy. And so they're all like, I pray you have at least one of them like Seth. I'm like, yup. We're definitely anticipating one of them to be like Seth and the other one to be like her mama, who was a bit of a rebel rouser. <laughs> but it's okay. I've been talking for like nine minutes. That's what happens when you don't actually film the actual event because you're busy. Seth stayed in the basement the whole time with Charlie, so he was unable to get any video. I managed to get a few videos before everyone showed up of the beautiful charcuterie board and all these yummy yummy little like treats and I'm so grateful there weren't like tons of sweets for me to have to say no to because I'm trying to avoid getting overweight in the last trimester because my metabolism is going way down because it's busy <laughs> I get it's it. It's busy doing other things. It's doing other things so I'm trying to give it everything it can. I ate half a cookie today and those cookies were so cute. They looked like they were um, like wildflowers, but wildflowers. I ate half a cookie and my heart started to get really like fluttery and I didn't like it. So, I mean, I, the taste of it was great, but I didn't like the way I was feeling. So I gave the rest of my cookie to Seth. And that is the extent of the sugar I ate at this thing. I took one for the team. You took one for the team. For tonight, I made some pumpkin bread muffins that have like a pecan crumble on top and it has no refined sugar, so it's just made from um, maple syrup and coconut sugar. And I know anybody who likes sugar a lot is rolling their eyes, but it does taste exactly like a pumpkin bread. Even Seth approved, and he likes refined sugar. Refined sugar. Yeah. <laughs> it is approved. It is approved. So it looks like we've got we got two of the Dr. Seuss um, beddings.
for the cribs when they come. I'm so excited because they're this, they're slightly different. Um, so they're their own little like got some characters on that one, and then the di there's different characters on this one, but they're the same colors. And then someone actually made these sweet reading mats or tummy time mats that have a little bit of Dr. Seuss on them. And I just, there's a few things that were handmade. My grandma made handmade towels that say their name. And someone else made handmade blankets that say their name. And I'm just like, I love homemade things. I love it that we can give these to the girls and explain who made them and why they made them and how intentional that is. And then we even have a few more people who are like, I'm making them blankets. So, <laughs> it sounds like they're gonna have the kind of childhood that I did. <laughs> we didn't get too many clothes, which is nice because that means that kind of gives me the freedom as the mom to style them. But I did get a few cute outfits <laughs> like these. How sweet are these? And these like little pants with a, like an oversized shirt. I'm not the type of twin mom that's going to make them dress the same all the time. I would, I mean, my mom did that to me and my sister a lot. And I, I don't really like it. But I do like a cute coordinated outfit. Like my mother-in-law got me, got her one of them. These. So that's one, but then the other one is the same style, it's just a different color. How cute! <laughs> but yeah, I think she's gonna come over tomorrow and start working on this again. I might update you on the progress because it is pretty cool to watch her do this. This is the first time she's ever done a mural and she's killing it. It is the next day and we went to church and we did um uh, a grow track class so that we can serve in the church and then Seth's mom came over and she is working on the mural and I'm working on these awesome thank you notes I'm about halfway done and my hand is cramping <laughs> so I need to take a little break Charlie is gonna eat the ones I finished hey no ma'am <laughs> and we're still so overwhelmed by how much we got from our shower so we're just happy. It's a good, it's been a good weekend. So thanks for watching this video. I don't know how long it was, but we got what we got. And uh, we got a ton of flowers left over that we get to look at for the next few days before they die. And yeah, keep following along for more. I think we've got another baby shower next weekend that's a little smaller. And then uh, I don't know, We'll probably do a fun, a couple fun things on the vlog before the babies are born. Because there is a whole bunch to do in the fall and it's exciting. So, thanks for watching and like and subscribe. I barely need any of it. <laughs> I just... a you're a poser. <laughs> you look like you're sitting in a forest, Charlie. Mm -hmm. But, um, <laughs> if I can get it open... I think there should be enough to just... I love you. Good night. <sighs> Say goodbye to the vlog. Spots and be done. Say see you later. See you later.